everyone? Are you on? Okay, so today is the day of, here, let me slide this pretty little thing over that's crooked. Um, today is the day for, um, oh my, I think Jeanette is going to resend a link to you for those of you who are not able to get on. We'll start again, okay? Um, okay, so remember you want to say something so that we know <clears throat> that you're in attendance because that's how we're going to award the attendance prize, okay? There we go. Can you hear me, Kathy? We did have some amount of issue with this this morning, too. I, I think it's not, how can it be us? It's YouTube. So, um, and we're on a computer. We're not running from an iPad, you know, all that kind of stuff. Oh, goodness. Can I? Okay, I'll give everybody a few minutes. Oh, I don't know. Maybe maybe it's me. Maybe I'm just blurry. I wasn't drinking this afternoon, even though we kind of wanted to. All I've had is tea. And my cup says, tell me something good. Okay, so am I still blurry? Yes, okay, thanks, Annette. Uh... Okay, I'm gonna disappear for just a minute. I'll be right back. You lucky ladies. <laughs> Jeanette, we don't we didn't see that it was blurry. So So Linda Burwell, I saw your email. I just didn't have a chance to answer it yet. And this morning, um, 
hopefully keep fingers crossed. Um, we had problems when people were trying to order on the website. It was not us. It was our host. Helen was on with them all morning long. So um, hopefully we'll be okay tonight. So yes, Linda, you can either, I think you sent what you wanted to the E to P garden. I can take care of that for you. Um, and of course your discount applies through midnight Friday. Okay. So don't worry about that. Okay. Am I nice and clear now? Oh, so Annette wrote perfect. Oh, there, Linda, Helen just wrote to you, I think from home. Okay. Are we good? Can we get started? Okay. Okay. Thank you. All right. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening for another patchwork party. This time it's May and we are still in the same position. So um, everyone is trying their best, right? We're trying to bring you a good program. So um, you feel like you're partially in the store with us. Um, and, and, and obviously you can't be. So um, we're just trying to create the best we can, right? Um, all right. So a couple of things. Because um, I took this this morning, some calls. Okay. So when that email was sent out last night, it had three blue lines and it said, Click here for 10 a.m. session, click here for 6.30, and then click here for your interactive page. So if you are able to work with two pieces of apparatus, you can go on and click that interactive page and join in with me as I follow through, okay? Because essentially, right, that's your Patrick Party notes. Excuse me, okay? So um, I think I'm going to take a step back for just a few minutes, okay? Um, I'm going to address the ordering thing again um, because it is an entirely different world, okay? So um, when we offer something, sometimes it's a pre-order, right? Because it's post Virtual, well, actually, the virtual quilt market is next week, but we're getting little dribs and drabs from designers about pre-orders, right? So this happens following quilt market, that you put an order in and then your product comes. Obviously, it is taking a little bit longer. Um, the distributors, their staff is down, so what would be processed within a few hours or within a day takes a few days now, right? Maybe even as many as five. Not always but sometimes. And then there's the whole shipping thing. So once it gets shipped, it is um, an indeterminate, well, what I want to say, <laughs> I don't think this is a bad thing. It's a crapshoot. Okay. It just is. Um, <clears throat> we have no idea how many days it will take. Sometimes it is the usual two. It has been as many as 16, okay? We apologize for all the delays. We truly, truly do. No one wants the product in here faster than us and get it into your hands, right? But it is just not that time, okay? Um, I will share a personal story with you because I know you love when I share personal stories. So a week ago Saturday, I was driving home. My three little miles. And I drove down transit, made a right onto County Road. <clears throat> About a half a mile down, I'm thinking, gosh, that car that just passed me, it's blowing a lot of smoke. This is crazy, right? So I drive a little bit more, and I'm like, uh-oh, I don't think that was the car that passed me. I think it's me. And I, as I look behind, there is all kinds of smoke coming out of the back of my car, right? And I am now starting to smell the smoke. So my immediate reaction was, oh, my God, I'm going to blow up. So knowing nothing about cars, right? So I did think about pulling over. And then I thought, gosh, I'm kind of tired. So I'm going to drive home. And I did. So I turned the car off. 
My husband goes out the next day and immediately when he turns it on, it has all these like flashing lights and it says, do not drive the car anywhere. Okay, major problems. So he thought it was a catalytic converter. Calls AAA, which is a whole nother story, which I won't go into, and gets the car towed to Dave Smith Ford, where we bought it three years ago, right? Three years old, 17,000 miles. And it is not the catalytic converter. My engine is blown. And I need a totally new engine. So it's covered under warranty. Okay. Well, to this day, 11 days later, we are still a one-car family. Because guess what, ladies? My engine was shipped but it hasn't arrived yet. So our place is not the only place that this is happening to, right? My car engine is somewhere and I really want it to arrive because I really want my own car back to drive my little three miles back and forth. But I have to be patient and I have to um, take rides from my husband, right? Who is always so very kind and absolutely willing to bring me here, okay? So just a little thing about shipping. It's out there everywhere. Um, okay, so we talked about the orders, we talked about the shipping. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go down the side. Bring my computer over. Get some call everyone, right? Um, so, when you do your special for now through midnight on Friday, when you place an online order, everything will be just except, of course, patchwork garden kits that we cut, like bike ride behind me, will not be discounted, right? No magazines no shipping, and none of the sale fabric that's discounted 50%. So the um, Amy Butler and the, um, help me out, the Judy Butler, right? Those are already 50% off, so you can't double dip and get 70% off, even though I know you would love to, <clears throat> but we need the funds, sorry to say. Okay, so when you finish your order, what you want to do is enter the coupon code May Party, capital M, capital P, no spaces. Okay, so that's right on your interactive page. Okay, so you're going to type in May Party, and that is going to discount every item that the discount applies to, and it will discount 20%. So instead of just getting 20% off your books, you're going to get it off of everything that you would normally only get 10% off. It's really hard to be creative um, online, okay? So we just thought we will give an overall blanket 20% discount, okay? All right. <clears throat> um, regarding the pictures, okay? We're going to go through pictures for challenge today. If you don't see your picture, Again, we really, really apologize. But at this stage of the game, we are literally receiving hundreds of emails that we sift through, right? So could it be that we have um, overlooked one of your pictures? It could be, okay? So just gently remind us, send it again and say, oops, it didn't appear this month. We will... Pre, uh, present it next month, file it away for next month, and you will get credit, okay? Don't worry about your discount punch card, okay? It's, um, oh my goodness, it's just crazy at this point. So don't worry about it, okay? We will honor things, okay? Um, okay, <clears throat> moving along, this month's challenge, and you don't even know what the project is yet. I'll show it to you shortly. Um, but your challenge is to make the classy or the sassy bag, okay? Pure and simple, okay? So just a fun, easy project. It, it won't take you hour upon hour upon hour. So um, we thought it would be really nice and fun. So <clears throat> actually, the 
in another reason. Um, this is normally when um, Bob and I are at Quilt Market or we've just returned from Quilt Market, right? So Helen um, was, going, is, was going to teach the entire program. And so she did. She created her YouTube video today. <clears throat> On top of that, she designed the project and she wrote the pattern. Okay, so it was obviously um, be only logical that she would teach the YouTube video, right? So she, it was in the cards that she was going to take over this program so that um, I could be a little more relaxed coming back from Quilt Market. The original project, <laughs> um, we decided to deter because um, it really didn't apply to what was going on now. So instead, Helen made the classy bag so you have a nice shoulder strap bag the idea is with multiple pockets the idea being that this is for your mask slash masks right um because as i heard on the news last night this is we're in it we're in it we're in it for a while okay so the one pocket will hold your mask or plural. The other zipper pocket will hold a nice little bottle of hand sanitizer. How organized. And then the other pocket will hold your cell phone. It's deep enough for your cell phone. So you can turn it into a little purse. So if you're not wanting to use it for a mask, here you go. A sweet little purse, right? If you don't want the handle, and uh, etc., this is made from moda toweling the pieces to treasure toweling, and it's the same thing minus strapping and um, swivel hooks, right? So same pocket, <clears throat> same two zipper pockets, and all made from moda toweling, right? And on the back, Helen uh, machine embroidered, stay calm, mask on. Okay, so we'll talk about all of that going forward. So that's your challenge, to make your version of the bag, okay? Which I know you all can do, obviously, because we had lots of fun entrants from last month's You've Got Mail and your individual versions of that. So that's been fun for us. Okay, <clears throat> next month, we're going to meet virtually again. Okay, there's no doubt about it. Um, the store will not be open yet. I know I'm starting to field some calls, but um, you have to know, and I'm sure you do, that we all need to feel comfortable, right? Our staff needs to feel comfortable and you need to feel comfortable entering the store, right? So there's a lot of revamping that needs to go on. Um, so we can't just say one day, shoot an email and say, okay, you're all welcome, right? That's just not going to happen, okay? So we need to limit how many people are in the store, you know, how do we go about doing that, the social distancing, the touching of everything, right? So <clears throat> please have patience with us. We are absolutely going to meet this way again, okay? So that's going to take place on June 24th. It's a Wednesday, both 10 a.m. and 6.30 p.m. again, okay? I know we all want to be together physically. Um, you have to know that this isn't a great deal of fun. I love looking out into the classroom and getting reaction from everyone, right? So I have to pretend that you're reacting. Um, okay, so this month's little-known fact so we thought this was kind of fun. This year, the building in which our store lives is 100 years old. So this house turns 100 this year. So we thought that was pretty cool. And just the fact that a quilt store is in it now and it's 100 years old. So what better place to display quilts than in a 100-year-old house? So we feel very, very, very lucky to have this space. Um, and to have you all enjoy coming here. So this month's organizational tip. Can I, uh, excuse me one second. Can I ask a favor of you? Can you turn the air on? It's really warm in here. Sorry, I'm really warm. So 
and it's going to turn the air up for me. Okay. So this one's organizational tip. Um, now that we, uh, Helen, now that we finished so many of those UFOs and other projects, how will we be using <clears throat> the new space? Because we freed up lots of shelves and things, right, from older fabric. So <clears throat> I think you need new fabric. Um, for Helen, it means time to do some much-needed spring cleaning. So stay tuned. She's going to share pictures with us next month. So that'll be interesting, won't it? All right. <clears throat> so once again, share with you a challenge and sew and share projects that everyone has sent in, okay? <clears throat> if you, you know that we, um, because the project this month was for a mask, right, to hold your mask, um, just a couple of things about masks. As you all know, we have been um, promoting Annie's by, by Annie mask pattern. Um, and many, many, many of you have purchased her kits. We still continue to sell them, right? So they're $9.99 and they make two masks and they use the fold over elastic, which I think is really nice and fun. So there is now, Annie has um, added a tutorial on making the masks on her website. So <clears throat> Helen provided you with a link so if you click on that, you'll get her free tutorial, okay? So I was actually going to talk about the mask and give tips, but why would I do that? Because um, you have Annie to watch, so that would be much more enjoyable. Um, so there's that, okay? Um, let's see, let's see. I want to, I'm just going to keep in the mask theme. Okay, so just released... Um, or it's about to be released in early June, Creative Grid has created a ruler, uh, not a ruler, a, well, yeah, a template that <clears throat> makes the duckbill mask shape. And this template makes them in small, medium, and large. <clears throat> and it even gives you this little tucky pleat like the By Annie pattern. Okay, so I know um, I was speaking with one of our customers yesterday morning, and she was asking if we were going to carry this, and <clears throat> it just sort of spurred us to move forward so that um, uh, it is available, okay, or it will be available. I have ordered some. They are a pre-order, okay, um, but they make the duckbill mask and what you can do is just very simply there's even a creative grid youtube and you're just going to cut it out and then but very very quickly because of course you're rotary cutting and then you go ahead and um, put it all together so you could even use that ruler if you have purchased a mask kit from us and you have not made it yet you can wait till the ruler comes in and just make that shape <clears throat> cutting out using the ruler, and then attach it with your By Annie uh, double fold elastic, okay? So you can always work that way. So a couple of different opportunities for you. Okay, another thing, Kimberbell, and we, I don't really know how many of you watch the Saturday Smile on a regular basis, so a couple of these things will be a little bit of an overlap. Apologize for that. But um, maybe you didn't hear these things the first time. So we have a new mystery that's coming in August. It is being offered by Kimberbell. And the thing that absolutely got me with this is many of you will recall that in 2011 and 2012, when we were newbies, uh, Kimber Bell had introduced something called the Black of the Week, right? And it was, instead of the Black of the Month, you got a piece to the quilt instructions um, every week. And the project was, every one of them was a 40-inch square or 38 inches square, very close to that. Um, they are reintroducing this in the form of a mystery. So it is a five week long program and it is called Love Notes. So it's all their fabric 
it is their pattern, their embellishment kit, okay? So um, it will, I think it begins the very beginning of August, if not the first week, the second week, and it'll run for five consecutive weeks. So you can participate in that, order it online. There is a $10 sign-up fee to hold your spot, and then if there's two versions, so there's a sewing version that is $129.99, and there is a machine embroidery version that is $159.99, okay? So it will be all of your pattern, um, and obviously for the machine embroidery, your CDs, okay? All of your fabric, the Kimberbell fabric for the top and binding, and um, all, your, all your embellishments, okay? So we have seen nothing. I've tried to like sneak peeks and you can't find anything anywhere, okay? So it's a mystery to us too. But we thought, oh, those were so much fun. Let's go back and um, do, and people love mysteries too. So we're offering that five week quilt of the week in a mystery, okay? So that is on your interactive page. Okay, what's happening in the, um, okay, I should probably address this. All right, so on the interactive page, it's it has a picture of those two bags that I showed you that were Holland's. It says, click here for the pattern, classy or sassy. So when you do that, your pattern opens up. It's four pages, just keep scrolling down. That is the entire pattern right there for you. So we didn't have to ship this month, um, a cut loose press pattern because Helen did all the designing. And thank you, thank you, thank you for that, right? The other thing is to the right, it says this month's recipes from Joan. So you're going to click that and you're going to see Mile High Meatless Lasagna Pie, which I have to say was mighty delicious. Sorry, as many of you know, I do not truly enjoy meat. So this was all veggies and it's made in a springform pan and it fills up the whole entire springform pan. And it honestly, it was so tasty. I loved it. So it was worth a little bit of extra work. I actually made it for my husband and I on Easter. Um, then next to it is the flu fighter cookies, which I know, Technically, I guess we're past flu season, but now we're into a whole new virus, right? So I was talking with Maureen Trumpfeller, and she was telling me about these cookies. And she said, you know, it shows you, like, in her magazine, all the things that, that the ingredients in these cookies fight. Mm -hmm. So she dropped it off for us one day. And so I thought, oh, I have not made them yet, but Maureen has. And she said, they're yummy. Okay, so I gave you both of those recipes. So I hope you enjoy those. I spoke with someone today already, and she said, I think you should. <laughs> it's good. Um, all right. So now let's go to what's happening. Okay. <clears throat> so we find ourselves in the same situation again. Okay, um, we're just not able to open our doors. But it's been interesting because some people say, oh, this is not so bad. You know, I, I don't mind the quieter life. I don't mind that there isn't hubbub and we're always going out and I'm getting to sew and I'm getting to read and, you know, I'm getting to cook and, you know, all those things. So there's that end of it. And then there's people who are saying, okay, a couple of weeks of this was okay, but now I'm ready to move on. But it doesn't really matter which way you feel because, our situation is our situation, right? And we we must tolerate it and we must embrace it and we must be happy for everything that we do here, right? Obviously, the main thing being that we're all still healthy. So um, obviously, again, we will not be having large gatherings in the shop once it does open, okay? So Patrick Party is a large gathering, so this will not be taking place for quite a while. Okay, so we'll try and make it as enjoyable as we can for you virtually. Okay, Saturday Smile programs have been going extremely well. We hope if you have not been able to join us, 
um, as of yet that you are able to or join us at some point on a Saturday morning, 9 a.m. Try to hold to 20 minutes. So it's a quick in and out, right? But we hopefully share some, if not all new things with you, some new things with you, okay? So it depends how often you're in the shop in the past. So um, we have lots of good topics coming up for June. We're going to do a little bit of fall. We're going to do Better Not Pout with Nancy Halverson for Christmas. So um, we're going to do toweling again because Janelle is um, releasing more beautiful new patterns. So lots of fun things coming. So we hope you can join us for that. Um, okay. If you ordered a Fabric Cafe book, the pre-order was quick as a wink, right? So I know this has been a few weeks ago, but remember that Donna had said June slash, hopefully not, but it could go out to July. So I did check in with her this week, and she said it isn't ready to go yet, but she is very hopeful. Still working with her photographer. Okay, so um, we just again have to be patient. So quick as a wink is not here yet. But if you had uh, ordered the modern view, that is here. So you should be getting an update shortly. Okay. Um, classes. So obviously hands-on classes are just not able to happen. So if you had registered for a class in April, May, or now June, it will be addressed on an individual class basis, okay? Um, our hope is that we run the class, right, at some point in the future. We're fully prepared to do that, okay? Um, Lisa and Alice really miss being around here. Um, I, Lisa checks in with me every week. Alice is every couple of weeks. They're both working on projects for the fall, so they have every intention of returning, okay? And obviously, um, I am going crazy because I love to teach. And um, this has been very difficult to not. Um, so please know that we will address each individual class situation, okay? So you will receive an email from us. But again, our hope is that you will sit tight and let this play out, and then we can reschedule um, later in the year, okay? Um, two things. I'm not going to happen. So um, there's still time. If you have been playing with Wesley at home and have been enjoying it, because I have heard reports from people, and you think, oops, I wish I had done, decided to do that program, you can. Okay? So we are still continuing to take signups for that, and we will present the entire year, no matter when it starts. Okay? So <clears throat> you can know that we'll be doing that. Same is true for Helen. She was following up her sisterhood retreat with the embroidery retreat program, which was scheduled to meet um, four times a year, beginning in August, right? But we're not sure that that's going to take place right in August. And if you had signed up for it, again, it will be addressed. But we're thinking that just going further out, we will still hold four sessions within a year cycle. Okay, so if you're thinking you want to get into some embroidery things as well, and just be um, kept up with what's new in the machine embroidery world, um, you can sign up for that as well. Not online, you would have to call, okay, because the online is pretty much closed down. All right, moving on, we have some fun new books for you. Okay, um, I only have a couple of them in stock, but Charming Baby Quilts. Okay, so this is a new one from, uh, so really, really, really cute baby quilt ideas. So um, if you like this, remember 20% off. There's one that's called Hugs and Kisses, and this uses the Zen Chic Pink Charm Pack, and we have some of those left. Okay, so we have some of those in the store. So if anybody orders this book and sees this, um, it takes two of the charm packs, I believe. Yes, two charm packs in the background. So something to consider, right? Um, okay, the other one is always such a popular one, right next to Doug Lico. 
This is Nancy Halverson and her Better Not Pout. So this is her new Christmas book. Um, they're on order. Okay, they're being released to us. Part of the shipment was is about to be sent, I believe, and I just ordered a second batch. So <clears throat> these are, uh, if you click on Better Not Pout, you'll see some of the inside pages. So Nancy always has a fabric line. We are receiving the entire line. And, and she is making some table runners with applicants. So if you think you're in later in June, and the idea is that you have your, huh, it just said my connection is unstable. Everybody okay? Um, if you have the book in front of you, it might be easier when I am showing things in a, in a few weeks, right? So um, just a thought, food for thought. Okay, so then we have some new Martingale releases. Harvest Garden is all about wool, beautiful. Again, click it, you can see the inside pages. That is on its way to us, okay? Again, Martingale is in the state of Washington. They are totally shut down. So um, I have had to go elsewhere and get the book. So they're on their way to us. And also Labor of Love is on its way to us, okay? The 25 Days to Better Machine Quilt and Tried and True, the new one from Joe Morton, are June releases. But I just thought, gosh, it's so close to June, which is pretty incredible. Um, I thought you can always pre-order those, okay? But know that they won't come out till June. All right. Okay. So collections of fabric. So it's tricky, right, to figure out what to bring into the store and what perhaps to hold off on just because um, we don't have traffic in the store, right? So you are all depending on us to show you what is the newest thing, okay? So just keep checking online. Helen adds all the time. But so uh, Fracture, we received, I want to say 13 new colors. So now we're up to 28. So that's been a really good blender line. So if you're looking for that a little more on the contemporary side, excuse me. So you can look up Fracture. Vintage Farmhouse is the beautiful line, um, contem not contemporary, but farmhousey style, right? Farmhouse style which all the young 30-ish people love. So that is um, McKenna Ryan's new line with Hoffman Fabrics. That line uh, we are going to use for our quilt of Essence of Tradition, okay? Um, so more information will be coming on that. I'm hoping that we can cut kits for anyone who is interested. Next to that is 60-inch mode of toweling. I talked about the toweling on Saturday during our Saturday mile. So this was a little red, white, and blue table runner. But look at this, all just <clears throat> 18 and a half inches uh, wide of the toweling that is 60 inches long. Okay, I took off probably about six or seven inches. And all you do, this is a free download from Janelle <clears throat> from Pieces to Treasure. All you do is make six Six and a half inch friendship stars, join three and three and attach them to both ends. And you have a beautiful runner. Quickly quilt that and you'll be done, right? So there's all kinds of beautiful toweling and we will be doing more with it. The drywall wovens from Marcus. So they're actually sitting right in front of me here. They are gorgeous textures. So I just wanted you to know that when you see them online, they're not flat printed. They're woven. So the texturing is just absolutely beautiful. So um, five really nice neutral colors, okay, that you, from which you can choose. Rachel's Tribute, finally the last of it arrived. So we will be starting, <laughs> sorry, <coughs> that block of the month in June, okay? But if you are not interested in doing Rachel's Tribute, you can still obviously purchase the fabric and we will be offering both Fat A and Fat Quarter packs in that line. So it's a beautiful one cream, it's beautiful, and um, then reds and greens. So very, very, very lovely. 
Okay. Let me catch up with my notes here. Um, the all so upcoming fabric. So uh, these things will be heading into the shop at some point, hopefully in June. Right? We're not entirely sure because again, shipments are delayed at times. So we have a new moda line coming. All Hollows Eve from Fig Tree. This might sound familiar to some of you. Um, this was released last year, and it was, and we um, resisted, and uh, they did. They're reprinting it, so that's pretty awesome. So they're reprinting it, and this time we could not resist. So we have the whole line coming, and we're going to be working with a book called Witch's Night Out. So you can be looking for that. It's beautiful, soft. Um, peachy oranges and black and a little bit of gray and oh it's just really fun mm -hmm. then of course better not pout which is the same name as the book so all of that is coming from nancy spellcasters garden it's a maywood line that is designed by meg hockey from crab apple hill designs and you may know meg she is um a, she specializes in stitchery patterns, but now she's starting to design fabric for Maywood. And uh, this is just such a great line of fabric. I can't wait till we get it in. So we will share that with you as well. Um, likewise, Benartex is um, having a new design, a new line from Jackie Robinson called Busted Chickadees. And I want to say like four or five years ago, um, Jackie had designed a chickadee line and it was tagged Christmas, <clears throat> but it was beautiful. Mm, den not denim, dark turquoise blues in light. It was just absolutely beautiful, just beautiful. So, um, she has some new fabrics coming. So festive chickadee and some new projects, but along that kind of that same thing so that was just again wildly popular in the store so we thought we would um get the new line and then lastly this is only the tip of the iceberg there are others coming other lines but obviously i can't write everything so this is just a real heavy time of year through the end of june into early july where we receive lots of fabric so lastly is so miriam bright from marcus brothers very tiny line designed by tracy souza who again is a hand embroiderer so she has a, a beautiful a fun panel that you can choose to embellish and stitch or not and then she is creating um, smaller pieces off of the panel and projects. So we will begin to work with that when that um, arrives. Okay, so product. <clears throat> um, a couple of weeks ago, we did Me and My Sister for Smile. And they are introducing in August a line of fabric called Back Porch. And it's all red, white, and blue. So we are getting fat quarter packs of that and um, some of the bolts, some fabric bolts. Um, re I just absolutely loved it. So they are um, working with some new patterns also. So two of them called the Diddy Bag and Screen Door. And Screen Door works is a fat quarter quilt. And um, it uses back porch. So hence the fat quarter pack. So those will be available um, in August, and you can also pre-order those, okay? The patterns themselves will be available shortly. I think they're early June releases. Bike Ride is behind me. So I previewed this on Saturday morning, and it was very well received. So an adorable children's quilt, I mean, really for anyone. So it works off of a panel of animals. Right? And then some solid um, just fabric squares. So it goes together very, very quickly. Okay, so those are $59.99 and it is pattern, all the fabric for the top and the binding. Okay, so you can order, place your order for those. Um, and then in case you missed it on the Saturday Smile, this little tool. This little baby Dresden four patch 
was quite the highlight that Saturday. So I thought I would just share with you what was presented. So I made this little, not little, but um, a 12 inch Dresden, the black is about 15 inches square. So made a little four patch Dresden template. So I worked with a charm pack called Rosewood. Obviously, you could just work with scrap five-inch squares as well. So if you did not know about this or, uh, or you decided not to order it, wow, this was really popular. So you might want to get on the bandwagon. And then when you buy the template, you receive a free pattern from them called Cherry Picket. Okay, so there is that. So lastly, I wanted to share with you some things that were just released. We only have one of everything in stock, but we are starting to place orders for them. So the first thing I'll talk about is the triangle garland behind me. So that, those are chalkboards. So my daughter-in-law would love this, right? So just a very fun way to um, say something happy, right? So there's the triangle garland, um, the magnetic whiteboard. So that is this guy right here. And he uses a dry erase marker. So you could put this in your sewing room and you could line up all the projects that you want to do. It's your wish list right? or your to-do list. Okay, so there's that. And then we have this beautiful black scalloped um, table stand. So this is the scallop holds a 10 inch circle and uh, all the pad, well six, it's gonna be black of the month through So Cherished. And they, they have designed a 10 inch round wool stitchery that will work and be able to be displayed on this magnetic stand. So these little guys, so I just put our eight inch on just to show you, okay? So these little guys are magnets. They come 12 to a box, they're $9.99. Then you can easily um, put up and take down any of your projects that you wish to put on display. So this, we just fell in love with this. So this is kind of fun, okay? So that is the scalloped stand, 22 inches tall. Okay, so all of those things, when you order them, will be discounted 20%. So, all right, I think I am through the Patchwork Hardy notes. Okay, so I guess I'll show this very quickly. So this is one of the newbies from the toweling. So this is called Lakeside. You can go to Saturday Smile page and find out all the information on this. But this bag actually comes in three different sizes to make. This is the medium size. Okay, so we put Kim Deal fabric on the inside instead of toweling, but toweling on the outside, both bag and bottom and handles. So very fun. And then even a zipper right there for a nice hidden pocket. Okay. So, all righty, ladies. So, I think we are ready to do our sew and share. So, I just need my assistant to come down. So, let me call Jeanette, okay? And um, I will be right back to do the pages. Because if I go to do them, you lose the sound. So, it's better if someone puts the pages on so that we can say, see the challenges and the sew and share. And then <clears throat> I can just face this way. Okay, now a section of... Okay, she's coming. Oh, you know what we should do before we get started? Okay, this is the butt in the seat prize. All right, and the lucky winner is, oh my gosh, it's Maureen Trumpfeller, who donated, who gave us the recipe. 
Um, so Maureen, you get you will receive in the morning a um, five dollar gift certificate to use online. Okay, so it will be applicable online. So Maureen Trumpfeller won. Helen. <laughs> Oh, my goodness. All right. Now we're ready to start. Yep. Okay. So remember that a couple of these projects could be throwbacks from last month because either we uh, misplaced, temporarily misplaced the picture or... Um, it was a little, I think this one we misplaced. So this is from Janet, and this is her version of the Wayside Quilt, okay? So really cute, Janet. This is from, oh, thank you, Janet's version of the Wayside Quilt. It's funny that you both did pinks. You must be making for baby girls. Oh, this one is from Mary Beth Abramson. So this was the You Got Mail. So Mary Beth did the piecing of the um, log cabin, and then she appliqued Helen's Uncle Sam on top. So very creative. These are really fun to see all the different ideas. And the colorways, right? Um, who is this one? Chris Thank you. This one is Chris Bergmeier. Okay, so Chris did obviously colors than I did, but it came out just really pretty, really pretty. Thank you for sending it in. The next one is from Janet Stelrecht again, and Janet did toweling in the background. So rather than piecing the log cabin blocks, she um, used the straight toweling, and she has three pockets. So. A mom and dad and a little baby in the middle. <laughs> oh, this is really cute. So this is Jan Mail, and her pocket is seed pocket fabric. So tell us where you found that, because that was really cute. And toweling on the background of this as well. Um, who is this? Oh. Oh, Don. Oh, Don. Don Clark. Okay. So, did beautiful peachy background, right? And then her, I think that's an actual jeans pocket, isn't it? From what I can see. So, really nice. I really, and yours says welcome rather than mail. So, nice idea. The next one is Diane Conklin. So, Diane, you might be on this evening. Your project turned out really, really pretty. Um, I love your colors too. And your blocks look really good in the background. This is a net. And so creative. So Annette did not make a wall hanging. She decided to make a bag. And the bag is made out of toweling. And then there's lots of applique on it, right? Even on the sides. And then um, down the middle, is that piece toweling? Can you tell? No, a panel, just like a panel of fabric. But how nice to make a tote bag, right? With the same, uh, using the components from your pattern. So very pretty. This is Mary Lou Vote. She attends the day session. So that is Mary Lou's um, version of You Got Mail, and I love it. Roses instead of the flowers that we had are in the pattern. So very nice. Are you reading comments? This is, oh, this is Renee Lorenz, and Renee, I think, made the log cabin blocks as a table topper, right, or um, perhaps a wall hanging, but I love the um, contrast of your whites and darks. It's really beautiful, Renee. This is Karen Petrowski, and she is a work in progress, so we'll probably see the finished thing. But when she made six log cabin blocks, she decided to use them all. And at the top, she has done some red work stitchery. 
and uh, this afternoon, I just picked a deep red to be her binding and her backing because she had requested that. So I hope you like it, Karen, when you get it tomorrow. <laughs> This one is, oh yeah, Linda Wegerson, and she did Howdy, and um, her version of the You Got Mail. So it looks terrific. This one's Karen Miller. She did machine embroidery. So it is USA at the top, and um, I'm sorry, Jeanette, I forgot what it says in the middle. Let freedom ring. Oh yes, let freedom ring. So that was a very nice uh, way to use your machine embroidery. This one is Nancy Evans. And Nancy, I love your USA. That is so colorful and the stars. That is really perfect, obviously, for this time of year, right? So very nice. Cheryl Shoemaker, I meant to look this up. I saw it from the notes that were sent and I might be wrong, Cheryl, but I thought you had said that you turned this into a pillow, but it honestly doesn't matter. Um, I love your pot and what you changed on it, and I love the flag and the whole red, white, and blue thing. It's beautiful. <clears throat> this is Sharon Carl, again, carrying out the theme of red, white, and blue in her log cabin blocks, okay? So using six of them instead of four. So nice job, Sharon. This is Mary Jane Rindell. So Mary Jane says, welcome. And again, um, blue and cream with peachy or red flowers. So a nice for this time of year. Almost the same colorway. This is Jennifer Angevine, almost the exact same colorway. Jennifer's, Jennifer has made hers. It looks like a little bit bigger by um, adding some borders. So nice job. This one is Karen Kudla, and she did the kit and how we did ours. And she wrote saying she absolutely loves the way it turned out. And I love the way it turned out too. Thanks for doing that, Karen. This is Deb Marshall, Log Cabin Blocks, No Applique. And I think a little bit bigger again because I'm doing the board around it, right? So that worked out nice. Um, this one is, oh, Paula Paracosi. So nice job, Paula. What does it say at the top? Flowers, blooms, Oh, that's right. Paula wrote, um, Helen was saying this morning that Paula wrote saying she thought that she would use that because she thought it was appropriate. Where flowers bloom, so does hope. That's beautiful. Um, this one said smile, which we all should try to do, right? Myself included. And um, I love what you added to the pot. Got a sweet little heart in there. And again, lots of blues and creams with the red seed. This is Judy Russell, so a quilt rather than um, the You've Got Mail, but lovely log cabin blocks. And I said this morning, it made me think of like a color wash. It's really pretty. This one is from Pat Arnold, my bright cheery colors. So that's Pat's version of You've Got Mail. This one is Beth Paracosi, and Beth being a gardener, she embellished her flowers. So made them fuller, right? Um, so I, I'm really enjoying that. And uh, it's the pocket of uh, Jean's pocket. So that came out really nice, Beth. This is John Hill from the Morning Group. So really pretty. I love how it's so dark around the outside and lighter in the center so that it's a true focus on the inside. That came out really nice done. This one is the last one for um, the challenge. So this is Susan Chavez and she again used toweling as the background. So a nice stripey effect and then her flower pot or her 
pocket of jeans, right? So very nice. Okay, so I had previously, before I even came in this morning, I wrote some numbers down. Okay, so uh, Helen has the numbers at home with her. And if your slide or your project was shown as, say, number 16, I'm not saying that's it, I'm just saying it arbitrarily, then you will receive, um, be the winner of the challenge project, okay? So there will be a couple of winners from tonight as well as from this morning, okay? So this is just general sew and share now. This is Joanne McGowan. And this is the project, right? And got the and this is a three one yard quilt or a three yard quilt um, for, I believe, one of her grandchildren. So we saw lots and lots of these in the group. So I'm so glad everybody's having fun with them. This is Shirley Peterson, and she made a topic very quickly. So she's been in Florida all winter, came back, picked up her kit for the topic, and the next thing we know, it's done. It came out beautiful, Shirley. This is another project from Shirley. So this is a table runner, okay, with kind of like a pinwheel effect and curve points on the end. So thanks for sharing that. This is Chris Berkmeyer, and this is um, a three-yard quilt kit. And then she added that she had used edge-to-edge um, -edge quilting on this project. So I'm glad that worked out for you, Chris. This one is Jane Brown. And I'm not sure of the name of this, but it is beautiful needle turn applique. It's just gorgeous, Jane. So thanks so much for sharing. This is Mary Moret, and she has a couple of pieces in here. So Mary's been really busy. This is one of the three yard quilts. And I think this is from Easy Does It. Yeah, so that's the Easy Does It book. Diane Conklin. So this is from Table Tastic. So in one of the quilts in Doug's book, he takes a panel and he creates a little window version of the project. So nice job, Diane. This is, oh, this is Mary Moret. So she has been super busy and made three sort of matching bags. So they're beautiful. The next one is from Mary as well. And this is another three yard quilt. I was very lucky. I got to see these in person in our parking lot. So they are gorgeous in person. So very, very nice, Mary. This is Annette Ryerson. So she finished her picnic time quilt that um, she took this class with Carrie Carr when Carrie was here, I believe two years ago. Um, but oh my gosh, Annette, it came out beautiful. That's a big one to finish. This one is amazing. Oh, this is Mary Lou Vogt. Mary Lou comes in the morning. And I believe this is, is this a little bit of machine embroidery? Um, I think it's a, a 3DB. 3DB. Yeah. I love the beehive. Be okay. Yep. Yeah. So thank you for sending that in. This is another one from Mary Lou Vogt. So a hexagon project, right? So love the colors on this one. So I hope that went together nice and easy for you. <clears throat> Um, this is Barb Huber. She has models. So she made um, Annie's meshing around bags and then gave them to her grandchildren. So how, oh, it's just terrific. So I guess they're loving their grandma's projects and I love the sunglasses too. <laughs> these are made by Mary Adrian. So Mary was super excited that these were finished. These these are the two three-yard quilt kits, quilts, not kits. One was a kit, and that is glow in the dark, the blue and the pink. The other one is the grays and the blacks and the gold. So they're for her two um, grandchildren, the twins. So that those came out so great, Mary. Uh, 
this is really fun. So Linda White is in is really getting to play. She makes her cats toys. So these are fabric and with a feather on the end. And I can remember when my cats were little, they would love playing with these guys. Now my guy is too old, <laughs> but they're fun. Um, oh, this is Karen Miller. So this, we made this quilt. What was the name of this one? French. Oh, yeah, French Connect. It's on our stairwell, and we Bev made a smaller version of this. Karen loved it so much, she made a king size quilt for her bed, and she's changing all the colors of her bedroom. So, good way to do it. This is from Lauren Devon Pierce, and Lauren applicates circles on an antique quilt. So, that background is an actual antique quilt. And then she applicated the circles on top of that. So can't wait to see that in person, Lauren. Oh my gosh. This is from Nancy Evans. I absolutely love these kinds of quilts. This is called Hope's Journey. It's from the book Hope's Journey. And this too, oh, I would just love to see this in person because they're just so interesting when there's so many blocks and so much movement. Oh, this one's from Lauren, too, and there, it's a little stitchery. I, I can't remember the entire saying. <laughs> my house is untidy. My garden is overgrown. My hair is a mess, but you, would, you should see what I have sewn. That is adorable, Lauren. And whose hair isn't a mess nowadays? Ugh. This is another three-yard quilt, and this was submitted by oh, Sharon Carl. So thanks, Sharon. I'm assuming some of your grandchildren are the lucky recipients of these things. This is Mary Jane Mindell. This, I believe, is a free download on the Buy Annie site. So this is a little gift card. So Mary Jane's been making these, and then she'll give them out for birthdays and Christmas. Oh, this is another three art from Karen Kudla. Gracing the quilt. Love it, love it, love it. So her kitty cat, right? So thanks for sending that in. Okay, this is Mary Grace. So the uh, this is a runner that she was working on. Um, over the past couple of months, I believe, and submitted that for someone to share. So thank you. This is Shirley Ingalls, and this is a little bee puppy in her beehive. So absolutely adorable. We would expect nothing less, Shirley. It came out really nice. And then Shirley submitted another page, and that is... Um, so she up and does these, so they're um, little hexagon projects in wool from Buttermilk Basin. So this is exciting. Mary Jane Mindell's uh, father turned 96. So they made him a happy birthday banner. So yay to your father. Oh, that's oh, Linda Burwell. Okay, so this is a baby quilt. So adorable and pink. So obviously for a little girl. Um, Paula Paracosi has finished her blast for a fresh cut. So soon she'll be putting it all together and then quilting it. So really beautiful, Paula. Thank you. Get it finished up so you can start another one. Um, this one is Jan Mail. Um, love, love, love the colors in this, Jan. They're just so bright and happy, and I really like the pattern, too. So thanks for sending that in. The next one is from Jan as well. And this is, many of you have this pattern. It's a cut loose press pattern, and I think it was the double flap 
think it's called the double flap pillow. Um, I too have made a ton of these. They're just really fun to make. So thank you for sending that in. And I think that's gonna, oh, nope, not quite. This is from Mary Grace Frank also. So not a three yard quilt, but a little bit more involved, right? So, um, but it came out really pretty. So thank you, lots of movement in that one. And this one is from John. So she bought <clears throat> a three yard quilt kit. And instead of making a quilt, she made these bags. So that's kind of what we've been talking about on the Saturday Smile too, right? That you can't come into shop, but if you like a three yard grouping of fabric, go at it. And we're ending with, oh, and we're ending with Mary Grace. So another coach is very busy this winter while she is in Florida. So we're glad you're home, Mary Grace, and thanks for sharing all your projects. No, I'll finish up. Okay. So I'm just sitting on the side here. Um, uh, I hope you enjoyed tonight's program, ladies. Um, be sure to watch over your interactive page and order anything your heart desires. I'm giving you permission, okay? Um, remember, your 20% off continues through midnight on Saturday. Okay. And then it all the coupon goes away and it reverts back to 10%. Okay, so I thought I hope thanks for joining us. I hope um, you all have a great evening and join us on Saturday morning for a smile. Thank you. Bye bye. <laughs>